Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the Pay for Lion. I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, this is Thursday. The people outside are, are mowing the, the grounds and doing blowing. So if you guys hear a little bit of noise in the background, please ignore it. Um, I'm playing some lofi hip hop chill in the background as well. I don't know if you'll hear that. But today we are going to be making this super cute, uh, I think I want to call it county fair, floral county fair blue ribbon um, or something like this. But what this is, is a hidden paper clip. Isn't that cute? I think that was so cute and such a simple, like simple little idea. Um, I bought these um, flower pieces at um, Hobby Lobby the other day. I love Hobby Lobby. I went in there for one thing, of course, and, and came out with a million other things. And at the end, I'll show you some of the variations that I did. But with this one, I just used a stencil and some glue and, of course, paper clips that I do not have. Give me a second. Let me go grab those. I always think I got everything and always get here and don't have something. Be right back. Okay, back with my paper clips. So you're going to need some paper clips. Today I'm using like these smaller sizes just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the little die cuts that you use. Of course, if you don't have these, you can use any die cuts. This will look really pretty with butterflies or other little things too. I'll show you some of the ones I made last night um, as I was testing this idea out for the video. So you're going to need... Obviously, you're going to need some paper. You're going to need your cutter. Um, you're going to either stencil or like some stamps to create like some background noise if you're not using double-sided paper. And of course, your glue and all that kind of stuff and possibly some ribbon or um, since I have seam binding at my desk, I'm going to go ahead and be using that today. But anyway, um, this is going to be kind of like a like an open. This is really literally going to be one of the easiest projects that you probably do today. And that's why I have this one listed as a mass make because you can literally pop these out so fast and so simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting these lengthwise, you know, for 12 inch. First thing I'm going to do is decide which of my die cuts I'm going to use for each one of these papers and you'll see why I'm doing that in just a second. Well, this is my first video that I am recording with my new SD card so let's see how it goes. I didn't put my timer on. Um, actually, actually no, the, the video I did yesterday was the first time. But this is like the actual first actual tutorial that I'm doing. As you guys see, I got all these empty spaces. But I got this cute um, cancel check, this vintage cancel check at the thrift store. And I thought that was perfect. Of course, I do have other stuff to fill that up. I just haven't had a chance. Okay, so let's see. I am doing florals today. And let's see. I think that one looks pretty with that one it would actually actually I think I want to use it for that one give me a little bit of contrast and color and then let's see what we can do for this pink one. Oh, I think oh I think that's pretty yes I think that will work for that and as I said basically all we're going to do is cut strips now if you are using thin paper Mine, of course, don't have any decorations on the back, um, so if you're using thinner paper, you can always reinforce yours with a little bit of um, a music sheet or book page just to give it some extra stability. So let's go ahead and cut this one. And then, oh, let me show you why I wanted to pick out the flowers first, because basically to hide it back there, you don't want your paper any wider than what you're going to be using for your um, your decoration. So basically, we we want it to go a little bit behind the widest, like the widest area at the top of this. 
So right here, I'm going to be cutting it a little bit below that. So we're going to kind of just gauge and see here. So we're going to just go right in there. And the beauty of these is that you can make them any width depending on what your final, you know, final product is. That one didn't cut all the way through. That's okay. We can give it a little help in hand. I'm going to have to pull out my other trimmer. Let's see. All right. There's that. And I guess it would help if I put my glasses on. <laughs> I hope. How are you guys doing today? It is Thursday. I cannot believe it is already Thursday. Oh my gosh. And I've got so much stuff that I still need to do. All right. I want to get some of this pink on here to go along with the flower. And of course, because these are, I'm going to be using the opposite side. That way you can see that on the other side. Now, where is my other flower? And you decide how you want your flower to go down. And then we're just going to make sure that it is going to hide behind there. That looks like that should do it. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. And as I'm looking, I noticed that I didn't bring my corner rounder. So if I need it, I'll just be trimming the corners on my own. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to reinforce one of these with some oops, some music paper. That's, which one do I want to use? That paper is still kind of flimsy. This one is more stiff. So let's go ahead and just reinforce with that. And so with this one, mm, well, actually, let me cut this down first. What I've been doing with these is giving myself a little bit of chop on them. And this is just so we can use this part to hide the paper clip. And of course, these have no measurement. You can make these as long or as short as you wish these to be. So it's basically, it's up to you what you want to do with your project. And of course, we'll fold those at the end before we glue them. And I think with this one, I think I want to reinforce with this one. We're going to take this and fold it down a little bit. That part is going to hold our flower and it's also going to hide our paper clip. So now I know that I only need this much. So we'll just cut a little bit of that. Trying to cut myself. Get this out of the way. And for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and just use this kind of as my um, guide. So we're just going to add some glue here, starting where the fold is, just so that we're reinforcing this. Actually, let's go a little bit under it. Always, always something with the glue. <laughs> something on camera. Let's get that unstuck. Okay. Our prize winner um, for the giveaway is going to be getting her envelope shipped out this week. The first runner up did not reply. The first, the, the actual real winner did not reply to the, um, she did not reply to her winning the winning video. 
So unfortunately, I had to move on to the next person as stated in my rules. So you guys, when I'm doing giveaways on here, make sure you are looking or keeping your notification bell on. Hopefully we'll be able to get a new drawing done here before long. Hoping to be able to do a drawing um, when we hit 500 subscribers. And I know with that one, I want to like include a gift card um, somewhere. So you guys make sure you're sharing this video so we can hurry up and get to 500 subscribers so we can do another giveaway. All right, so we're just gonna cut this out. And of course this part is completely optional. You literally do not have to do this, but since I wanted to show you this extra way, let's go ahead and do it. And basically I'm just gonna trim up any part that went over. All right. And that's done and dusted. All right, so that part is done. Just gonna make sure that that's good. If you wanna ink, now is a good time to go ahead and do your inking. And <laughs> oh my God, guys. Thankfully, I've got 512 gigabytes now. I will be right back yet again. Oh my God. I get what else do I need while I'm gone? Um, my corner rounder. Be right back. Well, at least with the beauty of editing, you guys don't have to wait for me to actually go and get things. All right. So I'm going to be using some walnut stain today. And let's go ahead. Actually, let's go ahead and um, before I start inking the edges, let's go ahead and fold this down. Since this one is a little longer, I'm going to fold it down just a bit longer. And while I'm here, before I do the, the regular inking, I'm going to be using some stencil on this one. I think I'm going to use some stencil and a stamp on this one. Something fell over there. No need to worry. Okay, so let's just get some stenciling on here. Move this one out the way a little bit. And once you get the rhythm of this, they go very, very quickly. And of course, this part is optional as well. I'm going a little heavy on the stenciling. My old dauber, <laughs> the, the little pad ran out. I have some more, but I wanted to try something different. This is actually, can anybody tell what this is? This is actually the furniture pads that you use um, like when you're moving furniture. I found some on sale um, at Walmart. I think it was a pack of 12 for 99 cents. And I was like, I wonder if I could use that for a dauber and it actually works pretty decent. I mean, it leaves a little bit to be desired, <laughs> but all in all, it's not too bad. It still applies ink and I got them on sale. So like, how can you go wrong with that? And I got my corner rounder. It may not make a bit of a difference, a big difference for some of these that you do, but I just kind of like to round my corners. Okay, so we got that, and then let's go ahead and ink this one up. Actually, you don't really have to ink the bottom yet because we're gonna be making that into like a ribbon shape. Okay. 
So now, basically we're just gonna take these pieces and fold them over in half just like you would do with any standard hidden paper clip there are some that I've seen that don't use these additional little pieces for the paper clip which is awesome but for this one we're gonna use it all right and then we're just gonna add a little paper clip to this one Depending on how wide your this is, you can opt to add two um, paper clips or just one, depending on how you want to do it. For this video, I'm just going to do one, but on some of my other ones, I did add two. Well, actually, on this one, I added two paper clips. Is this the one? No, one of them I added two paper clips in. All right, so now that we got that sorted, we're going to put those in there. Let's get some glue on this. But before we do that, let's go. This is another way you can do it. If you want, you can line up where your paper clip is. And then we can cut like a little bitty spot there. I actually broke the tip. I was trying to do something and broke the tip off my cutter so it's a little dull and so we'll just of course push that up a little bit so that it can go through there. And just pop that through there. To the best of our ability there we go and let's go ahead and glue this side down we're gonna put be pushing this um, safety clip I mean this this Barbie oh my god not a safety clip paper <laughs> Okay, and let's see, we're gonna be using pink. So let's use a little pink um, ribbon or some of this um, same binding. And we are going to feed that through there. Hope I'm on camera. I know you guys have probably seen this before. This is nothing new. And then we're just gonna push that paper clip back down. So now that it, it's actually holding that ribbon or seam binding in place, now you don't even have to worry about tying it if you don't want to. Of course, you can still tie it, but you literally do not have to. All right, and so we're going to pop our image down on there. Let's see, I'm going to pop our image there. You can choose however you want it to go, but I'm gonna put it like this. Okay, and let's get a little ink for that one. Just make sure that we're popping it to where it's going to be covering these edges. So we're going to add our glue here. Since we know this one is long enough to cover this whole thing, we don't have to worry about where the glue is going. Just make sure you're getting it. And you don't want it to go too high up unless you want it to necessarily like kind of stick outside of your book which you can do that as well I did get a little bit of excess glue down here we'll just take that out and burnish that one okay. and you want to make sure that you didn't glue your little spot together 
And then we're just going to come along and freehand some ribbon tails. So we're basically just going to cut up toward the middle from each little corner. And we're done we're done with this cute one right here let's go ahead and tie that and see if that looks better up there and this is good because you'll be seeing this from the back this is the back side and we didn't ink that back side but that's okay you can choose to put anything you want on this back side because it's covered like this you can leave it but I'm gonna go ahead and put it like stamp a little design on it okay. and there's that you can still add some lace or whatever you want to if you're gonna stamp it stamp it before you put your flower on it I think that'll work out better all right let's go to this next one on this next one I am not going to do anything to the back of course these can be decorated later but what I am going to do is stamp a little bit on the front of this one and I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I start putting anything else on let's turn this around the opposite way just to give a bit of contrast there we go oh, actually let's leave that open so we can ink it go ahead and ink the back side of this one This one I am not going to cut and add, oops, <laughs> I am not going to add a ribbon to the top of this one. That is completely up to you what you decide to do, but I wanted to show you both ways. I'm just going to pop that under there. sure that that one's burnished really good she don't want that going anywhere okay and then we're going to just ink up our little die cut a little bit these are rather large um, but they were a really good price. I think I got like 30 something for like $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. Plus they were 40% off or 50%, was it 50% off? Either 50 or 40. Hobby Lobby has do, been doing a lot less of their 50% off, off lately, um, which is terrible for us crafters. But anyway, so we're going to add this here. And again, like I said, well, since this one, you can kind of see the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and round the edges or actually you can just opt to trim a little bit off if it's going to be seen. Let's trim just a little bit more off. I could have easily rounded the corners. But we have options, ladies and gentlemen. And so now we're going to. <laughs> it still wants to. And because this one is so high, I think I'm actually going to turn this a bit so that it doesn't like stick too far out of the page. So I am going to have to end up rounding these. Get it together, get it together.
There's no, no wrong way to make your own projects, especially with something easy like this. Okay, that looks so much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some glue. We are in our home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. All we have to do with this is make our dovetails. I wanted to show you something really quick. Let me see if I have a pen here at my desk. I do not have a pen. Are you guys surprised? <laughs> Actually, I do have a pen. Let's see. Is this one right in? Yes. So basically what you can do if you don't think that you can freehand this, basically just kind of go across it. It would be better if you were doing with this with a ruler so that you could actually kind of see what you're doing. But basically with a ruler, you would mark pretty much midway. Let's go up a little bit more. Midway. And then you're just going to, you'd make a dot wherever you thought midway was. This one, I did not get it midway. But basically, you would just bring your scissors from the corner up to that spot. And the same thing from the other side. And bam, there you go. Easy peasy. It'd be better to do that with a ruler, but you can always do it like that. Or you can just eyeball it. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our project for today. If you do this in a mass make um, formation, you can get so many of these done. And I think they're so cute. To me, they remind me, like I said, of the county fair ribbons. So these are the ones that we made today. And, of course, you can go back and decorate that any kind of way. I'm going to leave that free until I decide what journal that I'm going to put it in. And these are what we made today. Aren't they cute? And these are here's the one that I made before. But like I was saying, you can do all kinds of things with these. This one, I got these little advertisement pieces also from Hobby Lobby when I bought the flowers. And this came in a package as well. So here's one with butterflies. And of course, this one has double-sided uh, images. Same with that one. But if you don't, you can always add your own. This one, I added a little bit of extra paper for stability. If you're already using heavy cardstock to do this, then you don't need to add any extra stability to it. And let's look and see what that looks like on a page. <laughs> well, here is my famous little journal that has been featured in so many of my videos. This one, I'm actually going to be doing a flip through after this for this one. Hope I don't get any ink on it. And I am going to just open this to a page. And let's see if a page in here. This page is good. And we can just pop this on here. You're going to be using up. Oh. I forgot to glue this side down. Oh my goodness. Is it Monday? No, it's not Monday. <laughs> it feels like a Monday because I'm like, ah! Okay. So we won't do it with this one because <laughs> we'll have to let that one dry. But never fear. We have another one already done. And so basically, it's just a paper clip. Just a hidden paper clip that you can slide down over your page make it really pretty there and that also of course you can use as a tuck and then you have something pretty on the back page as well let's see as with any hidden paper clip you can always tuck something under there but anyway thank you guys for joining me for this fun little project um so simple 
I know I made it look complicated, but once you get it down, it's literally, you're just cutting strips, cutting a little piece off to put inside, folding it over, adding a little glue and a paper clip, and bam, you're done. So this is what we have. These beautiful little things. You can add your ribbon um, if you like. And you can also use other little pieces that you might have other little die cuts but anyway guys thank you for joining uh, me today if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, hit your notification bells for when I do add other videos I do have a couple of other videos that I'm gonna try to get out this week if not then they'll roll over to the next week because half of my week is pretty much gone already um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this one. Um, glad you guys joined me. If you're new here, consider subscribing. You'll never know what you're going to find on this channel. And until the next time, 